Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, just wanted to give you my thoughts on uh, Cassandra, which I just accidentally came across. Uh, I've always known about Cassandra, but I didn't really know the power of it. Um, I've been uh, fooling around with Hadoop. Um, haven't really played with the HBase yet, but um, by accident I came across Cassandra. And then I came across this um, piece here about Cassandra versus HBase, which HBase is a subproject of Hadoop. Um, I'll provide all these links, um, but one, some of the highlights that, um, based upon my own experiences that I can verify, the first one is, uh, the one that caught my attention was HBase is good for warehousing and large-scale um, data processing. Cassandra is more suitable for real-time transactions and serving interactive data. This namely is what I'm after myself for high-frequency trading type of environment or scenario. So. It looks like I, I may have chosen the right path here uh, using Cassandra. Now, where does R come into play uh, using something like um, MATLAB and the power of MATLAB with uh, clustering and open source and da 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 da? Um, I'll, I'll do that in a minute. But um, another thing is the clear distinction between um, Cassandra and HBase um, is, again, remember HBase is kind of, I would assume, part of uh, Hadoop. Cassandra comes with a single Java process to run per node. Um, and it says here that HBase is, is, is namely uh, various pieces, including the HDFS, some Zookeeper, blah, 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 blah. Um, so that leads you down to the path of HBase is pretty complex, which I can verify with Hadoop. Um, the pr where Cassandra came into play was as part of an internal uh, project within Facebook and they open sourced it which was their own uh, open source uh, database for the Facebook uh, platform. Uh, HBase Hadoop came from uh, Bigtable and the Google file system. So those are the histories between both uh, HBase and Cassandra but the way it looks for me I'm, I'm more for my needs is definitely Cassandra is the way to go. Now, going back into the world of R, uh, you know, for analytics, that sort of thing, one of the things I learned up quickly about uh, R is I would, with all packages, is I'm learning very quickly to only work with packages that are part of the CRAN, uh, I guess, repository. Um, and that's what I've discovered. Oh, well, there you go. So this project, which is called R Cassandra Interface, it's part of the CRAN, uh, on, and that's important to me. For the, it just somehow it measures the importance of, of, of this package and the quality of it. Um, I'll, I'll leave it for another day on why I like I, I, I pr 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 uh, can never speak. Prefer this 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 way of thinking, but again, it just uh, enables you to do login updates and queries, and that's all I want it for. From coming from the world of R. Now, I just want to show you how simple um, Cassandra is to set up. Okay, what you're looking at right now is this, my CentOS Linux uh, environments, virtual box, uh, virtual machine. Um, again, this is all free, as I said, in password. This is my um, Cassandra server right now. Um, it's running, uh, binding to this IP right here of 127001. Uh, and here's my user. Uh, Again, um, and if I can verify as in these steps here. Uh, let me just show you. Uh, let me just let me just show you something here. Um, here are the instructions of a very very good site uh, to show you how the instructions how to install Cassandra. It's not. It's so much easier than than um, than uh, 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 Hadoop, and I haven't even gotten to the point of, of HBase, let alone that. But this this website here, this this link is very easy to set up, which leads me to what I was about to show you, or is partially showing you. As I said, uh, with all these instructions, it led me to um, this right here. Uh, here's my Cassandra running, works great. That's the server for Cassandra. Now, here is the last two lines of. Uh, the uh, steps to verify your Cassandra is working and connecting. Right here, these steps right here. No tool, 
Uh, it gives you the heap size, how much memory, how much time it's been up, blah, 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 blah. And then there's this uh, other command here on the no tool uh, to show you the ring and whatever else is up. So let me take you to my environment just to show you that. So here's the first no tool command right here. Uh, 34 megs uh, uh, is being used. I, I assume that 143 seconds it's been up. And here's the ring uh, parameter call. And um, here's what's up. So everything's working. It works great. It's easy, easy to install. Uh, if you read this part, this link right here, um, this one HB, HBase versus Cassandra. Why we moved? Uh, pretty convincing reasons of why. Uh, I'm comfortable with Cassandra. Now entering in the world of R, voila, we have R Cassandra package, which is again part of the R, which is part of that CRAN, which is seems to be a kind of an important move for me. So uh, I'm kind of excited by it. I'm going to proceed and let people know what I think of this R Cassandra uh, package as well as uh, doing something else later.